So the question the gentleman asked me is, what should people be doing right now? Just a very general open-ended question. Um, and I'll tell you that many times when people are in my office uh, very soon after something like this, uh, I try to emphasize to them at some point in time their insurance company, their insurance claim is going to get closed and settled. They all do. Some take longer than others. Uh, sometimes it's a harder fight to get the money, but it'll happen. So let's look at some bigger picture issues. With as much of the housing segment that's been taken out, where are you going to live? Uh, maybe your situation is one where the best thing you could do would be relocate to another part of the country. Take your insurance money and go somewhere else to live. I have, I have clients who do that and I'm able to help them make those decisions and still make certain that they maximize everything coming out of the policy. Uh, if you buy an, at another location, insurance companies are notorious for trying to reduce how much they pay you, saying they aren't going to pay for the land where you went somewhere else. This is not true. It's not according to California insurance law, but I have to fight this uh, almost every time uh, to get people paid properly for that part of a move. Um, Listen, you may not like to hear this in Sonoma County. There are going to be some people probably living in RVs. Uh, just this past week, uh, I had some folks contact me. They could not find anything close enough where they could, where they could live. And, and I know that's just true of so many people. They wanted that option. Their insurance company told them, uh, well, we'll consider it. Well, let me tell you, your policy pays to put you living as close to the standard of living as you had before. So with this larger disaster, there's not enough rental housing out there for that to do it. So maybe a, an RV is viable for some folks, um, but in these people's case, the insurance company had agreed to pay for a used fifth wheel that people use for vacationing that was $28,000. They have, they lived in a very nice home. <laughs> they have over $300,000 worth of ALE coverage. I said, go get out of that deal. My second home is an RV, but it has a laundry center. Do you want to go to the laundromat for the next two years? It has a king size bed. It has a gourmet kitchen. Get what you're entitled to. Additional living where you're going to be for the next couple of years is going to be huge. And you don't have to make that decision immediately. Take the time to look what your options are. All of them won't, will not be given to you by your insurance company. And you know, they're really busy, so I don't want to put the blame on them. Um, but I can tell you what all those options are, and there's plenty of them out there. They, they may be difficult, and in terms of a housing market, maybe you wouldn't mind driving every day if you could be in a house closer to what you have. Well, they'll pay for that additional mileage in addition to your rent. Um, the house needs to be furnished. Um, don't accept that you have to use your contents money to furnish the rental house. Uh, that happens all the time. The insurance companies say, we gave you contents money, go buy the furniture. Well, you don't know what furniture you want when your house gets rebuilt. It may be different. You don't want it to get moved twice and beat up. Get rental furniture to put in the rental house because that's what you're entitled to under your additional living expense for your policy. But, you know, seek out and get some information. We'll have a lot of these things on our website uh, and we're available, to, you know, to talk, give us a call. Uh, but the decisions about where you're going to be for the next couple of years is just huge if you're going to rebuild.